Hi, I'm Will from Venture to Rome, and today's gonna be a really fun day because we're testing out a few different things. Number one, we're taking my 392 on a intermediate rock crawling trail. We're also taking out Lance's brand new Ford Bronco Raptor, and we're gonna be testing out a couple different suspensions. So Chris is bringing out his JK with the four and a half inch metal cloak game changer suspension. I'm testing out my new three and a half inch metal cloak game changer suspension. And we're gonna take a look at how the stock Ford Bronco suspension does in a rock crawling environment instead of like a kind of Baja environment, which we know they're really good on. So we're gonna take a look at how this stock suspension flexes and how the metal cloak does. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Plus I've got brand new tires on this thing that I haven't tested out at all. They're the Nitto 38 inch by 13 and a half inch trail grapplers. So this is my first real kind of delve into a mud terrain tire. So we're gonna see how it performs on this trail and on the rocks. So we're at a trail called Lost Trail. It's out in the Owyhees. It's a known place. It's kind of a known intermediate rock crawling trail. There's some bypasses. There's some harder obstacles and easier obstacles. And so I think it'll be a really good test. And I am using Onyx for the first time today like really using it and what I was really impressed by was I had kind of forgotten how to get here and on Onyx I literally just pulled it up I typed in lost trail and BAM it took me right to the trail it was already highlighted had a bunch of information on it and when we pulled off for gas and I pulled it up on my map it gave me without even asking it it gave me little directions on how to get to the trailhead so thanks Onyx for making getting here probably the easiest it's ever been <laughs> And if you're interested in trying out Onyx, there's a link in the description that saves you 20%. Well, we're just gonna air down, get on the trail, and have an awesome Saturday. Guys, it feels good to be hitting the trail again. Yeah, I'm so excited. I met her in a club down in Old Soho Where you drink champagne and it tastes like Coca-Cola C-O-L-A Dude, your rig looks so awesome in the rear view mirror. She walked up to me and she asked me to dance. I asked her her name and in a top from voice she said hello. L-O-L-A-L-O-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-L-A-
and there's this clip right there. Uh huh. That clip is popping. It doesn't look like it's sitting right. Well, good to know that it's just it's just a piece of metal kind of slipping around. There's a clip back there, like a sway bar connector clip, that uh, is basically jostling around a little bit. We don't think it's going to be like detrimental. It's just something that's making noise and kind of binding up. So I think that's probably has to do with the way we installed it because Chris and I did that installation and we're not professional installers. And so we'll take it back. I think we'll, we'll take it uh, to uh, Rafi over at Case Suspension. He checked our work, his, his crew checked our work after that. And so I think probably we should go back and have him look at it and give us some insights on what to do. If it's just noise, if it's really a problem, if there's anything we can do to stop it. We have a choose your own adventure here. There's two obstacles that we can choose from. One is the easy and one is the hard. Well, hard for sure. The next obstacle presented a little bit of a tight squeeze, but it was nothing the 392 couldn't handle with these. But the Bronco is a bit wider. Since you're not gonna like this, I'm noticing. You find them? Okay, there you go. Nice and slow. Keep it, keep it driving. Keep it driving. Okay. Alright. No, turn your drive, your tire a little bit more passenger. Just a little bit more passenger. There you go. Yeah. So, all this. Yeah. So, you got him. I got him. You're good. All you gotta do is keep going forward. Well, you got sidewalls. <laughs> you are a little wider. Chris's JKU also has great dimensions for an obstacle like this, but he was practicing how to keep traction on slick surfaces. We're going to clear it. There you go. Come through. You got the block. Try to climb that right there. Straighten. me. As you come up the rock, you can straighten. There you go, there you go, you got it, you got it. That's it, you're on, you're on it. That was just rear locker, right? Yeah. Yeah, good job. All right, so. Took us a few tries there, Chris. <laughs> yeah, those, <laughs> suspension binding is a little unsettling. You good? Bye guys. See you guys. A little bit easier on those things. Yeah, so sorry, that, that binding hard. doesn't it doesn't stop you or hurt you. No, it's but just it, it's it's concerning every time it you hear it. Well, I'm glad uh, that you're filming this, so maybe I can give uh, Rafi a case suspension to call and yeah. <laughs> say, "Hey, bro, <laughs> we got, here's exactly what the problem is." <laughs> this is exactly the sound. I'm not Pit making it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get my head down there in case something comes off. Yeah. Well, the new car feeling is gone. I just. Up my wheel hard. Bad bar. The trail conditions are perfect. Ooh, it's getting hot out here. This is like one of those beautiful Idaho March days when the sun's out. The air temp's only 43 degrees, but when you're out there, you're sweating because the sun's so nice and warm. So that was our first kind of obstacle i would call that you know it's probably like an intermediate obstacle and it was great practice driving and spotting so you could see that we were all kind of thinking about spotting we're not we don't do it a ton and so this is our first time out this year doing this kind of stuff and so it's been really good to just practice because we're going to have a lot of this happening this year we're going to do the rubicon this summer and so we all just want to like increase our skill level get our game up and uh, practice communicating with each other around these obstacles. That's all going to help us when we get to the Rubicon, which is like three days of straight rock crawling. So anyway, pretty happy so far with how the rigs are performing. And uh, there's a couple more fun obstacles coming up here. So let's get up there and see how we do. I'd call this like an intermediate trail, easy to intermediate for rock crawling. Does this require a spot, Will? No, this is, this is pretty easy. It's just kind of cool. Let's go, Snappy. I think that Ripley's new nickname is Snappy. Wow. 
Lost Trail is a great shakedown run because it offers you the chance to flex out your rig without pushing it too far. Although, as we came to find out later, the difficulty of the trail is relative to your rig and experience level. That was a cool little bypass, Will. You good, Chris? Yep, I'm good. Okay, which way are we going? The hard right here. The trail vacillates between rocky obstacles and a narrow winding canyon road that sometimes has enough overgrown trees and bushes to cause a little pinstripe. And as they say, a pinstripe Jeep is a happy Jeep. Okay, so this next obstacle is kind of a big, steep, rock wall. Last time I did it with the KO2s that came stock on the 392, um, <laughs> we're smoking tires. We had a hard time getting up it. So um, here's hoping that we can get up this thing. Like right at you, Lance. Yeah, I'm trying to decide which way to go up. Yeah. Great. I'm gonna goose it. Oh. Told you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tell you what, this thing just whoop, right up it. Had grip the whole time. I think I spun just a little bit at the end. So that went really well, really fun. Actually pretty easy. Not much of an obstacle, just a little bit of uh, pitch happening there, pitch angle. Anyway, let's see how the other two uh, rigs do. While the 392 and the Bronco make this obstacle look pretty easy, it's relative. For example, we let someone else pass through our convoy and they struggled to get up this rock wall. Their tires and suspension just couldn't get the rig up and over. And eventually, they cried mercy and took the bypass. It was then Chris's turn to hit the wall to see how the JKU would do. all three rigs up and over, it was on to the next obstacle. Yeah, he's gonna need to start. Yeah, there we go. There it is. He can just go straight over that. He'll yeah, catch grip. Just, just keep straight. Just keep going straight. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's the line. Nice and slow. A little bit passive here. There we go. Try keeping you on the inside of that, just to see what happens. I bet we hear a little snap. Yeah, we're gonna hear a pop, but don't worry about it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and just bring it around. Driver. That's there it. You go. Straight on. So, because you gotta watch that back there too. Passenger. Yeah. Just need a little. Just a, just a little kiss. You see a little bump. Roll it, roll it. Uh, there you go. That you You're good. good. All right. Pop! 
Chris, you said this earlier, I just want to reiterate how good it feels to be going on the trail with you guys, especially on like a sunny day, a crisp March day going up to the Oahe's, man. I can't think of a better way to spend a Saturday. Well, we're just coming to kind of the end of the Lost Trail Loop, and there's still some rocks and things in here. We're just coming through a little canyon, um, connecting back to kind of where we started. And uh, I think most of the big stuff is, is done with, and Boy, this has been fun. Number one, it's been so nice just to get out and enjoy this Idaho weather. Just beautiful March weather. I mean, 43 degrees outside and I'm in a t-shirt because it's so warm in the sun. Just been awesome. It's been so fun to get this 392 out again because, whew, I've been itching to do this all winter. And I cannot wait to get back to the parking lot and just kind of assess how everything went. So I, I want to talk to Lance, listen to how he thinks the, the the Bronco did, um, talk to Chris and dig into a little bit on his uh, metal cloak suspension and how we felt that did, and then I'll give you an update on what I think about the tires and suspension setup, but spoiler alert, it's pretty dang good. Lance, uh, quick assessment of the Bronco Raptor's first trip, kind of rock crawling off-road. It's going to be controversial, but it's worth every penny. What? Every stinking penny. Like there was, it was amazing. It's, it's a little wide. But yeah. we got through that. I had to make a couple of adjustments to line, but it's fast. It's fast. It's like really fast. It's super comfortable. Like I didn't even notice the wash we went through. And and, it, and you were flexing it out. It did okay on. I mean, these aren't like super hard obstacles, but you know they weren't easy. Yeah. Yeah. I disconnected the sway bar. I used the front and rear rear locker once when we climbed through that waterfall. Um. It was amazing. Yeah. What's the assessment uh, of the metal cloak suspension? Um, I love it. So, you know, Ripley is a 10 year old uh, Jeep with a hundred and now almost 135,000 miles on it. And she kept up with everybody else. The two brand new rigs, the 392 and the Raptor. So it was great to see those guys going, but you know what, she held her own. Okay, so my assessment of the 392 and the changes we've made to it, is really good. So first, I loved the tires. Those Nitto trail grapplers that are 38 inches tall and 13 and a half inches wide were incredible on the trail. Like they are made for this stuff. So I had grip the whole time. I had grip on rocks, on wet rocks, on mud and dirt. I mean, it, they were just great. That little bit extra, that 38 over 37, kept everything planted. I had you know more surface to kind of get traction. So awesome. The three and a half inch metal cloak game changer suspension is night and day between the stock suspension that came on the 392 even though it's a good suspension like the stock suspension is good this thing is just that much better for example i never came off of four wheels today even on some obstacles that were like intermediate and everyone else was on three wheels this thing was planted the entire time and that's just because this metal cloak suspension has more flex and will keep your your tires planted to whatever you're going over uh, much better than you know if you don't have as much flex so that was awesome now i would love it if you came over as a subscriber we're going to do a lot more content like this we're going to do rock crawling this year we're going to do rock landing we're still going to do our long overlanding trips um, and stuff like that but we're going to add in a little bit more technical stuff this year so if you want to see all that stuff play out through the course of the year coming over subscribe i'd love to have you so until next time i'm will from venture to rome thanks for watching <laughs>